Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be working on the E46 M3. I got my buddy Mateo walking up, slowly walking across the street, drinking a recreational beverage. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we're going to uh, go get the keys out of the truck and uncover this bad boy and get to work. So this is Mateo's 240SX. It's getting an SR20 swap. You guys can see the inside of it. We've got a Momo steering wheel, some Cabro FX1 racing seats. It's got one racing seat here. I don't know where the other one's at. Doesn't have another one. Those are some Falcon Azeni FK512s. Ask me how I know, I have a set. And this SR20 is actually the same one that Adam LZ had. It was actually it came in the S15 that he bought, that he swapped for the 2J to go to use that competitively. So Tim bought that one and he sold it to me. Gotcha, very cool dude. Body kit over there. I still talk to Tim actually. How's he doing? He's chilling, he actually just got another S chassis, tubular front though. Good for him. Yeah, it's pretty good. So we went ahead and fully installed the carbon fiber hood. We also installed the turbo and we uninstalled the vents that were on the original carbon fiber hood. This is what allows the turbo to sit so low is this V-band. So we were able to just V-band it up, rotate the V-band and then obviously this elbow is welded to the T6 divided flange. So I'm going to have to notch this hood right there that way the turbo can sit flush you guys see what's going down we want the light and the turbo to be pretty flush with each other when the hood's down so i have a grinder i'm going to set you guys up and you're going to watch me take away this hood a little bit at a time So we ended up cutting the carbon fiber hood all of the way. This is where it's going to pretty much sit for the remainder of the remainder of time, honestly, we have the build and whatnot. The headlight accents it perfectly. Look at that curvature, it's beautiful. And the hood's able to close all the way. I ended up installing the coil packs on the passenger side. And in the next video, we'll be installing the TDR engine mounts. I'd like to thank you guys for watching another video. If you guys are new viewers out there, and this is your first time stopping by, I do invite you to subscribe. We're gonna have more videos with this LS swapped E46 M3. And honestly, I think it's in need of a bath. So maybe we'll figure something out for that. I hope you guys have a good day slash night, wherever you may find yourselves. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.